We're gonna get you the max, the maximum sentence. Motherfuckers ain't found killers of a, a whole bunch of rappers. But just as soon as a motherfucker threatened a little white girl, a white girl rapper, autistic bitch, you know what I'm saying? Now it's all goddamn the fans with helicopters, all kind of shit. Now we're gonna we're gonna read into everything. You motherfuckers still ain't found who the I am A.O. Canseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation. And this is, are you serious? As in, as a grown Crip member, are you seriously thinking that this white bitch getting online and apologizing in fear to you as a gang is not alerting the police? Better yet, do you think that this little white bitch did not go and file a fucking police report? Did you not see that her little homegirl, little Tay, uh, mama got fired from the real estate office? Her mother is not with that shit. Her mother's business is not with this rap shit and this what, what we're involved in, this culture. Their parents aren't on the same shit that our parents are on. They don't know how that shit goes. So please believe that Woe Vicky's parents, this is well fucking documented. Well documented. And you won't hear about the niggas who get arrested behind this shit and how it happens. But I'm going to let you know what the fuck going on. Because you niggas act like y'all not seeing what the fuck. I'm not trying to go too far into it because I'm supposed to be hollering at all the local artists who holler at me and shit like that. Uh, if you are a local artist, go to the messenger. I don't allow just anybody to get on the channel. You got to have good music. And it can't be on no gay shit. It can't be on no lame shit. You can't be no whole ass nigga in your city. You need to have something going on and shit like that. We will hold our integrity with this channel. But you got to go to the Facebook Messenger. I'm not answering shit on Facebook. I'm not answering shit in this comment section. I'm not answering shit on the Instagram. Y'all should go and follow all those platforms. But as far as rappers go, I want to have a direct conversation with you. Uh, Y'all know what the Instagram is. That shit is on the screen and in the comment section. Comment. Description box. Handle y'all business and do what y'all need to do. Also, all of my real AO Nation members who donated from Chicago, Detroit, um, London, um, what did that say? St. Louis, and South Memphis. Love, love, love. I appreciate the love, y'all. Um, I appreciate everybody who pushes this thing forward, whatever like that, and gives encouraging words in the comment section and on my social media platforms. But to those who reach in their pocket and really make sure that the Big Fact Podcast continues to be able to run and shit like that, I got to give you a special thanks. So I really appreciate everybody who donates in the PayPal. If you haven't donated, the PayPal is always on the screen and it's always in the description box. Y'all make sure y'all fuck with that. But let's get into this whole Vicky bitch. Now what happened was, we saw what happened. If you don't know what happened, let's get into it. Whoa, Vicky and some lame ass niggas, uh, all in the motherfucking camera with the the uh, the guns with the laser pointers that you get from Walmart and shit like that. Um, just whooping that drama and really Snoop Dogg and shit like that, whooping and shit. And of course, because we are so uh, reactive, we allowed this lame bitch to get in. We allowed lame niggas. To be able to pump up lame bitches. Because now anybody who get in front of the camera, it wasn't until I got here till we actually had somebody who's a real person to speak on shit. But y'all let this lame ass, these lame niggas in with the shit. Like them niggas could have easily been rappers. This young old nigga with a gray patch on his fucking beard and shit like that. Uh, fuck nigga, fuck nigga. These is real lame niggas. Like you can slap these niggas and they'll run the fuck. Like, listen to what this whole saying. We was just playing around doing this shit. These folks is playing around. I'm trying to tell you that Lil Uzi and Young Thug, I'm going to be real with you, big home. All that shit they were doing, they were trying some shit. Post Malone, they were trying some shit. It gets in, they were trying some shit, and that shit just hit. It's like, how the fuck are these people taking this shit serious? I was just fucking around. That's what it is. They just fucking around, and motherfuckers like, oh, yeah, I like that shit, because it's a majority of lame motherfuckers, of weird motherfuckers. And so this shit is being perpetuated. But now we in some shit because here it is. 
this little bitch, because she's so, she's popular. Y'all like her. Y'all like artistic white bitches. This is what y'all, this, this is who y'all like to hear rap. Y'all like to watch her shit. This is what y'all patronize. Y'all don't, y'all don't give a fuck about no real shit. Fuck that shit. You want to hear about Whoa Vicky and Lil Tate. Lil Tate mama just got fired from a real estate job, which is why I'm trying to tell y'all a police report has been filed. So I don't know how we didn't forgot so quickly how when a white woman says something about a black man, they could be the same age. Motherfuckers jump and run. When a white man says something about a black man, they get up and run. Everybody knows if you want the police to come faster, you get on the phone. Hey, I'm, I'm, this is a, uh, uh, Andy, uh, 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 Philip, and, and I'm on right here on uh, uh, the Twin Road right here, and I'm trying to get some help. And they'll come real quick. These, these fucking black people are fucking all around them. I, I need some help. But you know what I'm saying? Your homeboy could have just got shot. But if you want them to come fast, you have to act like, ah, oh, please, somebody come help. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? So now we're acting surprised when there's a whole investigation on the Crip set. Because us, we, we just love the flex. We love the, the stunt and let motherfuckers know what we did, which I found that funny that we're bragging about getting a little white girl to apologize. How the fuck is that a, like, niggas is really bragging on it. Dan just said, that's the power of the Crips. That's the power of the sea. We come together, we, we mobilize. Like, whoa, big dog. It's a little white girl. You got a little white girl, to, you scared a little white girl? Are you bragging about that? Are you serious? How, how did it, like, you would never brag on that. But see, I don't really blame dads but what's going on here is the internet has fucked up everybody's mind because you have to if you're trying to promote anything if you're trying to get any business off the ground especially with entertainment you're gonna have to use this fucking form of transportation which is the fucking internet you cannot go past this you're gonna have to use this so when you're looking at it like that from a business aspect you have to see like, okay, this whoa Vicky bitch is higher on this internet shit than I am. So we're not looking at it like she is a little white girl. We're looking at it like the big, the girl with the big platform. We can make anybody bow down, no matter how big they following is. You know what I'm saying? But in real life, you forgetting that we have to live a real life. Like it's all entertainment when when they doing it. It's all like they, she all holding the, she holding the gun like this. And shit like that, she all, oh, fuck motherfucker and shit like that. I'm surprised she ain't say nigga, because them niggas around her wouldn't have did shit. Ah, oh, motherfucker, you old ass motherfucker holding a gun like this. But see, they, they won't be arrested or apprehended for that. That girl ain't old enough to have no fucking gun. But they won't be apprehended for that. But when she goes into uh, victim mode, as Tyreek Nasheed would say, she going victim mode. Now it's, all right, well, we need to look into this. Because uh, we have uh, the Crips are um, bullying, not only bullying, but they're threatening to kill um, this uh, young girl. Now, when the news get hold of it, it's not going to be rapper Woe Vicky uh, who threatened Snoop Dogg with guns in the video. It's going to be um, uh, Mary Jane uh, Wilson, a uh, uh, homecoming queen for Tennessee, uh, was threatened by scary big black men um, from the gangster killer crip set. Uh, police are now uh, investigating and the, the feds will be destroying all black people. You know what I'm saying? Like it's gonna be something. And I don't understand how we were dragged into this shit, but what happened is this is what happens when you throw lame motherfuckers in a barrel with real motherfuckers. If there was never, if the filtering system was never broken, then motherfuckers like that would have never been able to get inside of this game. But because now you have motherfuckers, like the motherfuckers, just go in this video and look at the fucking video of the niggas that's with her. Look at these motherfuckers. They're thrown in right with us. Now, 
if you in this game, we thinking that we, like, you on a video, we'll find you a real gangster. Now, why the fuck can't I approach you like a real gangster? Why can't I handle it like a real, since you, you holding guns and you whooping? How the fuck can I not think you a gangster? A nigga shouldn't have to use his discernment to say, all right, well, shit, he probably, nah, he ain't real for real. Because a scary nigga will kill you. Anybody will kill you. It's easy to die out here. The hard part is living. Niggas is dying to live. You motherfuckers continue to allow these Lame, nothing ass white folks in. And I'm, it's, it's not no race thing because when Eminem came, it's real. When Yellow Wolf came, real. I even say MGK is real because they value. They value you know, the game. They value talent. Like it's, I, I need to be good when I come in here. I can't just come. If a nigga come, like how Plies came or how Jesus came, with not that much lyrical ability, but they were giving you a real story. They were giving you a real story. So, and that's what rap always was. Pimp C and Bun B weren't the most lyrical motherfuckers, but they were giving you a real story. When shit is able to be fabricated and then be accepted, now we have an issue because you're in the same vicinity as real niggas who actually live this. And, and since I live this, and you acting like you live this, I expect you to know the same rules I know. You understand? So if you blood and I'm blood, but you faking, I'm, a, I'm, I'm gonna do something to you when you violate, when you use this language, when you say this word. You should know what words not to use. If you crip and I'm crip, you're not supposed to wear this. You're supposed to wear this on this side. You're supposed to do this like this. And if you don't do it, I'm going to violate you because you should know everything I know because you're claiming to be what I am. You don't get in no video and hold no guns and the police turn a blind eye. But just as soon as this white girl get on camera, I'm so sorry. And now she all scared and victimized. Now all of a sudden behind the scenes, niggas are getting arrested. Niggas are getting investigated. Now the heat is turned up on the crip set because now the crip set is bullying and threatening little white girls. Am I crazy? Am I telling you something that you don't know? When are we going to put the filtering system back in place? When are we going to start having pride in who we are once again to where it's like, okay, we not going to patronize these motherfuckers who are making a mockery of what we do in real life. These motherfuckers is trying shit and getting off. They trying shit and getting the fuck off. And it kind of make me think that this was a fucking industry plant because who in the fuck is listening to this retarded ass music this motherfucker making, man? You got a nine-year-old little white girl named Lil Tay, but she's, she's saying the same shit we saying, but you can't go with her like you would go with a regular nigga. Once you come in this gladiator dome, you should be treated with the same rules that everybody else treated with. Rappers get killed. It's just, rappers get beat up. Rappers get robbed. Ain't no motherfucking, well, uh, well, she's a rapper, but you can't do that to her because we're going to get you the, ma the maximum sentence. Motherfuckers ain't found killers of a, a whole bunch of rappers. But just as soon as a motherfucker threatened a little white girl, a white girl rapper, autistic bitch, you know what I'm saying? Now it's all goddamn the fans with helicopters, all kinds of shit. Now we're going we gonna to read into everything. You motherfuckers still ain't found who the... Big Facts Podcast. I'm Ayo Conseco. Make sure y'all go to that PayPal. See y'all in a minute. Are you serious?